The second annual Inside Commodities Conference kicking off today at the New York Stock Exchange. It's a gathering of industry experts, analysts, investors talking about the future of commodities. Joining us now in a Fox Business exclusive from the floor is Peter Schiff, President and Chief Global Strategist of Euro Pacific Capital. Peter, always great to see you. Peter, gold's at a new record. How high do you think it goes? A lot higher. Come on, give me a number, man. Well, uh, when? This year? Next year? Look, you know, if we keep debasing the dollar, and it appears that we're going to do that, because unfortunately, uh, the government thinks the solution to our economic problems is to create inflation, to try to artificially stimulate more consumption when that's the wrong thing to do. They're actually interfering. If we're going to have a real recovery in our country, it's going to be led by savings, investment, and production. But the longer we delay that, the more we create inflation, the weaker the dollar is going to get, the higher the price of gold is going to go. I mean, if you don't own gold yet, you should buy it. Don't think it's expensive. It's barely over $1,000 an ounce. Don't wait till it's 2000 to buy it. All right, Peter. Get it now. But, Peter, if, if your theory of why gold will keep going up is based on the, how lousy the U.S. is and we're going into this debt-related depression, we sit as a government on gold, won't we? And will that extra supply naturally suppress if we start selling gold because we're having fiscal problems? Wouldn't that naturally suppress the price of gold no. by the selling? No, there would be plenty of buying. You saw when the IMF the other day, they were trying to unload some of their gold. That was a foolish thing for them to do. But the Bank of India stepped up, bought 200 metric tons. There's plenty of demand. If the United States is stupid enough to sell gold, other central banks should buy it. What we should be doing right now is, is buying even more gold. That, you know, the central banks around the world are, are under, have, don't have enough gold, and they, they need to be buying it. Oh, you do. Is there a global asset bubble, Peter? I don't think so. I think there's a bubble in U.S. Treasuries for sure. I think we still haven't fully deflated the housing bubble. But I think, you know, stock prices have been rising around the world. A lot of that is due to legitimate factors. I still think stocks are not necessarily expensive in a lot of uh, markets. Uh, there is a lot of inflation. Central banks, even outside the United States, are creating too much money. Interest rates are too low. So that creates a tendency to prefer assets over a depreciating currency. I don't think commodity is, prices is are China in a bubble. A bubble Peter? Is China a bubble? No, I, I, I don't think so. I think there's legitimate economic growth going on in China. I think their monetary policy is bad. I think they need to decouple completely from the U.S. dollar. I think they need to stop increasing their money supply to buy U.S. dollars. I think if they do that, the Chinese will have a sounder economy. But even though they are doing that, beneath the surface, I think you have a vibrant market economy building in China. It's creating a lot of legitimate wealth. Unfortunately, the opposite is happening in the United States. Peter, you like gold, you like oil, but are commodities a zero-sum game ultimately for investors? Um, well, if you're a winner, there's a, a loser somewhere. Don't no, you worry I mean, that would be the individual? Well, I suppose if you're talking about futures contracts, somebody's shorting and somebody's long, therefore. But if you own commodities, ultimately commodities are going to be consumed. So there isn't necessarily a loser. There's the investor and there's the ultimate end consumer who is going to, you know, going to, going to, you know, use the oil or eat the wheat. And so if you think that prices are going to rise due to increasing demand and due to a scarcity of supply, you can certainly profit as an investor by buying it now and selling it later when the prices are higher. Peter, it was good to see you. Thanks. That's it. Nice seeing you again. Uh, Peter Schiff, President and Chief Global Strategist of Europe Pacific Capital. All right, well, from gold to cars.